Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing yet another review of a new holiday release on the new Charlotte Tilbury Star In Your Eyes eyeshadow palette. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. Alright, so some major facts about this palette. It is $75. You can get it on the Charlotte Tilbury website starting tomorrow. So if you go on the Charlotte Tilbury website, you can put your name on the waitlist so that you get notified when it is available. This palette is limited edition and it is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. So last year, Charlotte Tilbury came out with a palette called the Instant Eyes Palette and that freaking sold out in one minute. It was a huge sellout success and the point behind this palette is it's limited edition and once it's gone, it's gone. I don't know how true they are about that, but according to the website, once it's gone, it's gone gone and last year it sold out in 24 hours. Now this is a different palette. This is the stars in your eyes but it is the same concept. So the major concept behind this palette is it is a four looks in one palette palette. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second, but first let's talk about the packaging. First of all, I just want to show you the box that it comes in. It comes in this really beautiful glittery box. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I have problems where I don't want to throw away cute boxes, so I'm going to have a problem throwing away this box. And of course the casing is this long, beautiful plastic casing with the Charlotte Tilbury symbol. Very beautiful. And then you open it up and da 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 da! You get a mirror and 12 beautiful eyeshadow. As you can see, this palette kind of goes from light to dark. The colors are kind of separated into threes because you're supposed to be able to create four different looks using just the trio. So the essential layout of it is, is the first color in each trio is going to be your all over priming color. The second color is going to be the enhancing color. And then the third color is going to be the smoke color. So essentially this is what you put everywhere to prime your lid all over. You put this all over the lid and this in the crease to smoke it out. Now looking at these, um, mm, not all of these are necessarily the only three colors I would use for a look, but of course you're not limited to that. You can mix and match just like I did today with my look. Each trio does have a name. They're very inspiring, like mood inspired names. So this first one is Love Eyes. Then we have Power Eyes. Then we have Happy Eyes. And then we have Confident Eyes which is really cute, a really cute idea for that. And I just really like how you can get a very neutral look with this, but you can also go more purples for more nighttime looks as well. So this is a really good day to nighttime palette. Now here are the swatches. I tried to separate them into the three, but I didn't do a very good job of it. But that is just the layout of the exact palette on my arm. I can tell you right now, every single color swatched beautifully. Honestly, one of the most beautiful swatching palettes I've ever experienced. Everything was very buttery and smooth smooth and there was no skipping on any of the swatches so immediately with the swatches I was very impressed and also the shimmery shades they could go on for miles when you were swatching it which is a really good sign they were so creamy and so pigmented the only color that I had any sort of problem with was the power eyes trio this middle one right here only because it is a sheer glitter so when i did swatch it i was worried but it actually it's really pretty in the inner corner it's what i have right here and it's also really good as a lid topper so i do have a bronze color all over my lid and i took that second power eyes shade and i just kind of patted it into the center of my lid just to give it a little extra oomph so basically though it may not look like it'd be a good shadow it actually is very useful just because it didn't swatch amazingly and was kind of sheer doesn't mean it's not going to be good. It is good. It is a nice formula. You just have to know how to use it. So don't judge when you swatch it. I mean, other than that, all of the mattes swatched so smooth, so beautiful, no skipping whatsoever, and the shimmers were ridiculous. They were just... But of course, as you know, sometimes swatches can be deceiving and it's all about how they apply to the eyes. And I'm telling you right now, they all applied absolutely beautifully. I love that this palette has a white cream shade, a couple good transition shades, a couple good definer shades for a different type of look as well because you do have a brown and then you do have a purple as well. 
and of course a bunch of different beautiful lid shades for different types of looks and the lid shades the shimmer shades they apply so beautifully with a brush and with your fingers so don't be afraid to use a brush and don't be afraid to use your finger the shadows just apply very seamless to the lid the mattes also blended out very beautifully they went on very pigmented I didn't have to blend too much they kind of dispersed by themselves and it looked so good the only area that I feel this palette is lacking is I personally would like an even deeper shade than the shades put in this palette because I know for today I kind of wanted more of a deep smoky eye and there just really wasn't a good shadow for that I used this in the outer corner and it just wasn't deep enough for me so that's the only shadow I think that is lacking but that being said this palette is really great because it's easy for people to use it's easy to understand how to use them and it's very good for a day to night look you can use these first two trios here for your work and then you can pop these colors on your lid and your crease for the nighttime or of course you can just if you're going out do this or if you want more of a purple look you have that purple if you want more of a mauve look you have more of a mauve trio more of a bronze trio you have that and this is more of an everyday peach trio i just love the concept behind it i love when palettes are arranged like this i just feel like it makes it so easy you don't have to think and the formula is absolutely beautiful really quickly i'm going to show you what shadows i use to create this kind of everyday beautiful bronzy look so i started off with the love eyes and i used the smoke shade as my transition color i then also used the prime shade as my under brow highlight Next, I went into the Happy Eyes Trio and I took that middle shade and I actually applied that into my crease to create a little bit more depth. And then I took the darkest shade, the smoke shade, in the Happy Eyes and I put that in my outer corner for that deeper smoky effect. And I did kind of try to bring that in towards my inner corner to create a really deep smoky eye but like i said i wish this palette had a deeper color because i just couldn't get the look i was going for this wasn't deep enough then from the power eyes i took the smoke shade which side note this really isn't a good smoke shade like i said some of these trios i don't really understand but i put that all over my lid so beautiful this is one of the most beautiful shimmer formulas ever i don't know i just spread like butter on my lid and then i finally went in with the middle shade of the power eyes and i use that as my inner corner highlight and i did take a little bit on my fingers and i put that in the center of my eyelid anyways i just got this really beautiful bronzy golden look and i just i think it's lovely i think it looks great for many occasions and it was so simple to do the last two palettes i reviewed were a natasha denona and a pat mcgrath those other two palettes were definitely more creative you were able to get more creative looks with it and with this guy it's really really just about good day-to-day -day colors, day-to-night colors, just good for the everyday woman and I just think this is a lovely palette and I think you should definitely try and get your hands on it tomorrow because hopefully it doesn't sell out but it might if it's anything like last year. The formula is absolutely beautiful, colors are absolutely beautiful and I just think this is a universally good palette for everybody. I really truly do. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, let me know any questions you might have and be sure to check out my other reviews. I will see you guys later. Bye.